Let's double walk the stage, Spidey! These were not the right trousers for this occasion, were they? <laughs> we're all very close up front here. Are we all having fun down here? All right, girl, you're going to know if I am, because our glasses are going to fly off. <laughs> <laughs> the right people got that. Brilliant. Anyway, hi, I'm, I'm Spidey. How are you doing? We all good? Cool. If you're wondering, I'll tell you the quick version. I'm called Spidey because the short version is I like Spider-Man. The long version is I really, really, really like Spider-Man. <laughs> right? Gloss back over that. But I grew up in a time where it wasn't cool to like comic books, you know? Like, I grew up, well, I was born in 1982. I'm a 40-year-old man now. You're not allowed to like comic books now. You weren't allowed to like them when I was at school. I used to pull a comic book out of my bag. I used to get the absolute shit beat out of me every single day. That's the right amount of sympathy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so I remember, like, when it came out of 2002 in the summertime, the old Tobey Maguire Spider-Man film, you'll love and remember so much, came out. And I'm stood there, thank you, one person. And I'm stood there in the queue. Wearing my Spider-Man T-shirt. I'm with Skeletor today because, you know, throwbacks. <laughs> but I'm stood there wearing a Spider-Man shirt, and I look across the road, and I actually see my old school bully getting off of the bus, wearing a Spider-Man shirt, <laughs> hand in hand with his little boy, also wearing a Spider-Man shirt. We look at each other, our eyes met, he crosses the road, and I swear to God, when the bus hit him, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go! Didn't need a day rider in the end, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm quite glad it's you tonight. A lot of people have been swearing on the stage because the one thing I've not been doing stand up too long. And I, my big thing is like, I swear a lot, man. Like I worked in heavy metal bars and kitchens for my entire life. For me, the word cunt is basically punctuation. Right? <laughs> you can fail an English test so easily just by putting chef at the top of the thing. <laughs> it's just, just don't even bother, lad. You move on. Right? Like my parents noticed this when I was growing up because I grew up on the back of a council estate in 1980s Portsmouth while my parents were going through a divorce. You're going to hear a few choice words and you're going to pick them up quite well, a little too well if you ask my parents. So they decided to start one of these swear jar things to try and curb the whole problem. You ever know what a swear jar is? Yeah, you say a bad word, you put money in the jar. Parents are like, well, what are we going to do with the jar when it's full? My mum's like, oh, then we'll do something nice. We'll go on holiday. But get this straight, we swear jar fills up, we go on holiday, Yeah. <laughs> I set fire to the cat. I fucked my sister. We were at Disneyland by Saturday. <laughs> right? I, don't, I don't think I got the intended message on that one. <laughs> so anyway, you'll probably be shocked to learn I'm single. Um, <laughs> wow. Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, but no, like I, I went through a breakup during lockdown. And like obviously lockdown's the worst time to go through a breakup. Through like sorry, I was going to not try and talk about lockdown. Normally, I try to avoid two things: lockdown and politics. I mean, one, you can tell, guess why I don't talk about politics, right? <laughs> Before lockdown happened, all I knew about Donald Trump was two things. One, we both want to fuck his daughter. <laughs> and secondly, he's got to be the biggest wall enthusiast since Princess Diana's driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, too fucking soon? <laughs> like, sorry, you had a palm tree out there, I'd make a joke about Paul Walker. You gloss up, I'll uh, step up, right? <laughs> fucking hell. He was way over 100 when he went. The queen was a pussy. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> wait, who was I just offending? Back one. <laughs> Get out. Uh, so, um, no, it's completely gone. That was it. Relationships. Going through a breakup during lockdown. What do you want to do when you go through a breakup? Right, you want to go out, you want to get drunk, you want to throw yourself at the first thing that says yes. Right, with a two meter gap and everyone greeting each other like this, unless they're into stump fucking, I'm screwed. <laughs> I did kind of. It really made me rethink my approach to women, though, because like, rather than like standing at the side of the gym, looking in the window, looking at girls that I could not keep up with if they spotted me, <laughs> two minutes outside of the amputee ward at the hospital, I've got a girlfriend like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> she ain't never leaving me either, man. I, I took the wheels off the chair. <laughs> So anyway, it got to a point where you were allowed to start going out and meeting girls in places again. Actually, I just suddenly remembered, i got a question for somebody. Can you drive or not after taking CBD? <laughs> I'm on. People want to know. There's two guys behind you in my whole row want to know. Can you drive after taking CBD? The answer's no, dumbass. <laughs> Good five-minute Google on that. Sorry to point you out there. <laughs> So we get back on lockdown. You finally get to a point where you start allowed to go back out again. You can start to go and meet people. 
I mean, <laughs> do I look like I'm good with p- pickup lines? Uh, what, what are the good ones these days? Uh, well, hey, baby, did you fall from heaven? Because you look like Satan. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, I've got a knife, get in the van. (laughs) I'm my all-time favorite. Hey, you at school, because I want to shoot kids inside of you. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) But you get to that point where you finally, you know, you you manage to meet someone, it starts to go well, and like, actually somehow you manage back at theirs, or they're back at yours. And that's when you start to panic a little bit. You're like, oh, God, you know, what if I'm bad? What if I'm too drunk? What if I can't get it up? What if she wakes up halfway through? <laughs> like, <laughs> and then, you know, you get the thing the next day. So she, well, sorry, th- even the same night. Like, just when it's all done, she's about to lie down and go to sleep. She's, oh, God, honestly, I'm going to feel like shit in the morning. Like, Honey, you're not waking up in the morning. <laughs> They're so pretty when they're sleeping. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, I'd like to leave you. (laughs) Spidey, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) 